I'm with a hitch from the factory, so I'm going to find a piece of scrap metal here. I'm going to try and make my own. And I thought this would work pretty good. There's a couple holes right here. And I'll throw this up here. Try and line, eyeball it up and make it nice and flat. Yeah. i take marker on the back side here. And I'm marking it up, the holes. And I'll take this back and we'll drill some holes for that. But first, we need to figure out a bolt that goes in there. <clears throat> and I already looked at that and I found these here should work pretty good. Let's go drill these holes out. So these are the bolts that I figured would fit in those holes pretty good. So I just measured those with caliper. And it looks like we're at about 365, roughly. So let's find a drill that's just a little bit bigger than that. will probably work, huh? And then we'll start it out with a smaller one. Maybe like a little 3 16 So I'll throw this in the drill press. Make sure it goes down deep enough and it's not going to hit anything, which it doesn't go down deep enough. We'll set our depth a little lower. Alright. And we should be able to kind of eyeball this, because this isn't exact. If you notice, I drilled the holes a little to the right because when I eyeballed these squares, they looked like they were this way. So I moved the holes over just a hair. It doesn't have to be exact, it's just for a little trailer on the back of your lawnmower. Now we gotta put the big drill bit in.
and that'll work, but it's a little out of my comfort zone. So I'll move the table down just a hair. I'll do this again. two holes and if we're lucky the bolts will fit right through well, let's go see if it they'll line up with the lawnmower now So I'll just make it a little safer here by taking some of these burrs off the wire wheel. I'll clean those up a little better after I know that they fit. <coughs> now I'll see if the nuts and bolts work. Don't need the washers right now. that locked. Now we got to figure out hey go back and get the magic marker right on there again. Alright so we're standing back we're looking at this does this look like about the right height we want it and I would say it's pretty good maybe a little higher though because I want a little bit more meat on the metal here for the big hole that we got to drill through it. I'll we'll say roughly about there. What do you think, Mom? Looks good. All right. Well, the missus is happy, so let's bend it. I'm just lining that black mark up decent, kind of eyeballing it again. Like I said, this doesn't have to be perfect. Not like we're towing it down the highway. I'll put some gloves on again just in case I try and cut myself like normal.
What I think I'm going to do first is put some ear protection on. All right, so what I was doing there is <clears throat> trying to pound in different areas so I can keep a nice 90 degree angle. So at least it looks somewhat decent. Pretty good for a human brake press, right? Now, we got to drill a hole for the trailer to connect to. So let's go measure that out. All right, so now we need to try and mark the hole for the hitch. And it kind of works nice because there's a point on here so I can, and it stops right about there. So I can spin this around and make sure that there's enough clearance so that the trailer can swing. So that being said, I'll try and line this up and just cause it's kind of close on the corners, I think I'll move it up just a hair. And then we'll take a marker, try and get something that's somewhat centered up. Now we gotta go back and drill this hole out like we did with the bolt holes. So I'll need to measure the pin, find the right drill bit. Then after we're done with that, we'll snip a little bit of this off to make it look nice. We need to take this pin that they use for these garden trailers and we'll measure that. And it comes out to be about just a hair under a half inch, 494 or so. So I already know that I'll have to use the biggest drill bit that I got right now is the half inch. All right, so we'll do a little starter hole here. Got my mark. change that out and get a bigger one in there the more dangerous one I don't know 
Oh, I can't fit. I'll have to lower it down a little bit. Back up again. That looks pretty good, huh? There we go, perfect. Now I just need to clean this up and we can take that marker again and draw a line. I don't know about hack it off right there. Looks good. here with this black mark and we'll snip this off so it looks a little better huh I'll just go clean it up a little bit. I just need to bolt it onto the lawnmower and see if it'll hold the wagon. So we found this fancy piece of scrap rubber so we can put it in between the hitch and the lawnmower so it doesn't scratch a pretty paint. So the wife's just gonna trace it out here rubber gasket for so we don't scratch the paint. Sweet. Right, so let's see if it bolts up. We'll take this nice gasket here. We'll feed a couple bolts through. Wow. 
washer inside. How about a lac washer? And a nut. We'll do the same for the other side. I'll use a ratchet wrench, I'll tighten these up. Hopefully that won't go anywhere. Now I can see if the trailer will hook up to it. Pretty slick. Not quite level, but it'll work. It'll work. Just be careful if you put a hitch on a zero turn lawnmower, it's really easy to jackknife it. All in all, what do you think of it? Work pretty good.